Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today, what we are doing is, as you guys can see by the title, my best of 2022 compilation. Uh, now that it is New Year's Eve, as I'm filming and going to post this, um, or maybe I'll post it New Year's Day. I, I'm, I don't know, but I just got off of work and I decided to film the intro and the outro um, and put this together. So. Uh, basically what this is, but I mean by best of, is just some funny moments that I found while scrolling through this year's videos, uh, on top of just, um, important milestone moments, uh, for me, whether that be, like, a sub milestone or just a, a video that did really well for me or that I really liked, just a clip from that, or also me, uh, there's some clips about me talking about my moving process this year, which played a big role um in the quality and quantity of content uh, in the second half of this year uh, so i do have a few things for that there's just really important moments uh, for the channel um documented and compiled in this video so i hope you guys do enjoy before we do get started i do want to thank you all who are new subs this year um it means a lot we've cracked so many milestones this year uh, my first 100 subs and then also my first 200 subs this year and now we're creeping up on 300 which i'm sure we'll get early next year um, if things go well for us so thank you all for some uh, words thank you all so much for subscribing and sticking with me uh, through everything and let's just make next year a great one i have so many videos planned um it's going to be a big year for me reading more. Um, I'm going to try and make that happen. I've got a lot of reviews. And there's just a lot of um, consistency, I guess, that I have. Because I have my videos scheduled out now, uh, which I plan to continue to do. So you guys will be seeing content, again, more consistently, too, next year. And ha like I have been doing... Um, towards the end of this year, I'd like to think that my content output has been more consistent. Um, and that's a trend that you guys will continue to see. So yeah, like I said, strap in. Um, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into it. Now the final things I did pick up um, are a random single that I found. And that is Blue Exorcist Volume 9. Now, Blue Exorcist, first of all, before I start talking about it, let's just appreciate um, the artistic value of this cover. Um, gotta say, Badutron 5000 here, uh, the baddest chick in Blue Exorcist. What's not to love about this volume cover? Uh, anyway, um, to another video. Today, we are going to be doing a uh, box set unboxing, showing off the volumes and stuff uh, for One Piece box set three. I can't believe I'm saying even saying those words. Um, yeah, totally unexpected. If you guys saw uh, my last video that came out earlier, then you guys know. But man, we got... I'm just so surprised and so happy that I got this. Yes. <clears throat> I did it again. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, my friend here, my wallet, is exhausted. Um, I have here, I went to Second and Charles today to sell some Funko Pops. These are the only ones I have now. Uh, left them there so they can process it and hopefully give me some good money for um, some pops when I was there and I was going to buy this at some point anyway I saw 
one piece box set four now if you guys have seen my uploads in the last week last weekend i just bought that beautiful baby right there on my shelf at bam so yeah um quite an expensive month um i i i seriously have a a, a problem um but it do be goat piece though so you know it is what it is let's get right into it yo guys welcome back to another video today we are doing something a bit different a new series that i alluded to doing a few months ago and just never did because i was kind of lazy first of all and i was also reading some other stuff but now i'm changing up what i'm reading i'm trying to get through some of the stuff i have on my shelves that i haven't read so that i can get into reading one piece and so this first episode of the three volume rule series uh we're covering spy x family or spy family whatever you want to call it um so yeah basically if you guys don't know what the three volume rule is uh in the manga community there's generally a rule where you know if a series you're picking up you're reading doesn't catch you in the first volume it might take a few volumes to really get get going so you know it's fair to give it three volumes and if it doesn't get you after three volumes you can have a pretty good judgment about the series and if you want you could drop it um but you should probably give a series three volumes before you decide to drop it or not unless it's like really terrible then you know you can drop it after one volume but that's what this series is all about um it was kind of my idea to like because i want to start reading other things besides just what's popular because everything on my shelves is pretty pretty mainstream uh, mostly you know shonen jump series um but my idea was to go in to a series that I know close to nothing about and pick up three volumes, read them, and see see what the hype is. Or if it's something that's not super hyped, maybe I can go in and, you know, get some other people to read it. So, yeah. Anyway, to build exactly what I built right here. So, yeah, I actually made two variations because they didn't have a lot of uh, these here. So, I built four shelves. Uh, and for four, um, for four, not shelves, risers, for four risers, um, it costs between 30 and 40 bucks to do it this way, which isn't bad. And that's not counting, um, some screws. So if you want to buy screws, might be a little bit more. Um, but yeah, not terrible considering, you know, the quality of these things and like, you know, they're, they're really heavy duty. So also I don't recommend painting these things. Uh, I didn't because, A, you know, you're not going to be able to see them anyway, so it doesn't matter at all. And, B, I didn't want to get any wet paint whatsoever on my um, on my volumes. I didn't want it to be tacky, you know, uh, when it's, like, sort of dry but a little bit damp at the same time. Uh, I didn't want any of that getting on my volumes. And also, you know, I just didn't care. So I didn't paint it at all. But what next thing I did pick up, and this is the final new release that I got, and that is Kaiju Number no. Eight Volume Two. Um, I haven't read this yet either. Uh, this is going to be one of the next things I do read. Um, yeah, really awesome series. Um, so if you guys hear noises in the background, mom's doing something. Um, but yeah, has a lot of potential uh, as a series. Uh, in Shonen Jump is popping off right now um, based on what I've heard and these volume covers are just insane I've seen uh, the Japanese volumes uh, that are ahead of this so like I think they're up to like they might be up to like six now I think um, all the covers are just so vibrant and yeah they're all great but Kaiju number eight um, is just an awesome series based on that first volume and I've been waiting forever for this to come out, so I'm glad it finally did. And yeah, um, I have a very good friend of mine 
who um her favorite one of her i don't know if it's her favorite but one of her favorite series is kaiju number eight and um that's one thing we kind of bond over is talking about this series so yeah so I, i've kind of got to read it for her um so that we can talk about it but yeah i mean and also for myself of course because yeah so so dope as you guys can see by the title today we are going to be doing the spring 2022 manga collection video uh that i've been talking about how i wanted to do it um so figured i'd do it uh it's friday you know don't got school no weekend so now would be a great time to do it uh last night went through another phase you know how i always reorganize the collection but i got something pretty solid i'm happy with um the way it's presented um so yeah figured i'd do it now um so yeah that's about it i'd say let's just hop right into the collection um a lot of my plans uh have been like severely altered for the summer um, not just um stuff having to do with the channel but like other stuff like in life um there's just a lot that has changed uh, because of some circumstances and i'm here right now to share with you guys what's exactly going on why i'm not uploading um because it's so much more than uh, what i had said in the updates video partly because i didn't even know that this was gonna be happening so yeah anyways sit tight and i'll explain what's going on so essentially, what started out as just me um, having to pack up some stuff uh, and move some stuff out of my room to start um, preparing for the renovation of my bedroom, uh, getting new carpet put in and also getting my walls painted and all that, um, turned out to be us being in the process of moving. So today, as you guys can see, we are doing the June 2022 manga haul. And yes, as you guys can see, the One Piece shirt is back. I've only worn this shirt in like one video a few months ago. There's a reason to that, and that's because I lost this shirt. I didn't know where it went at all. And with us moving, I was going through clothes and I actually managed to find it. So the One Piece shirt is back. Absolutely love this shirt. Just it's a shame that uh, I wasn't able to wear it for a long time. Uh, it's definitely like summer vibes, you know, the bright colors and stuff. And uh, yeah, One Piece shirt is back. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, the next thing I did pick up is volume three of Kaiju number eight. I'm having a lot of fun with the series right now. I'm actually gonna do a three volume rule video. Of, ow, holy crap, I just poked myself in the eye with the volume, that hurt. Did you guys see that? Anyway, Kaiju number eight, volume three. Um, three volume rule coming at some point. Um, with the video that I wanted to do since I had the whole idea of making this new series three volume rule and then only did one episode of it a few months ago so thinking about bringing that back next up we're going to be getting into some stuff that aren't new releases but they're new to my collection uh just stuff that I needed and that is firstly Ow Haru Ride volumes two and three now I had volume one uh, in my collection for a minute there. I picked it up for the boys, for the culture, you know. And then I went to Books A Million, and they had volumes two and three here. But they must be used or something, so I got these for real cheap. Uh, they're in good condition. This one was like $3, uh, volume three. And volume four here was, on, or no, sorry, volume two here was only like five bucks. So... That was a steal. I couldn't pass that up, especially when they were volumes that I needed to. And for that cheap, I mean, shoot, like I had to snatch that up. Sadly, they didn't have like volume four um, in stock there, but if they did for that cheap, I would have definitely picked it up. Um, yeah, if they had, if they probably, if they had the whole series they were used for that cheap, I may have just acted up and bought the whole series, honestly. Yo guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute, but I'm finally back and ready to start making videos again. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I'll let you guys know, you know, what has all been happening. I've made several videos on it. Um, or if you guys were on the Discord, then you know I talked about it quite a bit. 
So I'm not gonna go too much in depth on why I was gone here and you know, too many updates because um, we've got a lot to go through here on this video. There's just a lot of content here. Um, and yeah, so, but I am back and that is what is important. And I've got tons of videos to come this month. Um, so when you guys are seeing this, hopefully Friday, um, there should be another video coming out this weekend as well. Uh, and tons of reviews and stuff like that coming as well. So stay tuned for all that. But yes, I am finally back. And today, you know, I figured I'd come out, come back with an absolute banger. Uh, so over the last month that I've been off of YouTube, I've been trying to get in touch with a lot of other creators in MangaTube, and I talked to a lot of people. Um, and I have quite a few here today joining me to talk about what is our favorite manga covers. And that is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Yeah, this was an anime that I really enjoyed, surprisingly, because uh, usually I'm not into this sort of thing, like the slice of life stuff. But this was just really heartwarming and fun to watch. There was really great animation and awesome fights, surprisingly, again, uh, season two. If you know the fight, you know the fight between her and the, uh, the other dragon chick. But yeah, awesome series. And this, I'm going to be honest with you, full color, and it get a little nasty, I'm just saying. If you know, you know, pick this up, uh, if you're a fan, it's definitely, probably not something I'm going to, like, really read, it's more of like a collector's item, or like a novelty item, and I like the series so much that I just wanted to have this in the collection. Oh crap, I already know this cover. God, no! This is the Nell cover, if you know Bleach, like, yo, Kubo was smoking that mm! when he made this cover. Well, let's just take a minute to appreciate it, but not appreciate it too much, because again, y'all know what month it is. If you know, you know, but good lord. In 45 though, we got the old man. Yo, look at this Giga Chad right here. That is a man right there. And then, good lord. Alrighty, we got another one. I think that this is the breast cover yet. I mean, the best cover yet. Um, I forget this chick's name, but she a baddie. Today, we are going to be talking about none other than Sutomu uh, Nihei's uh, Abara. Um, you guys know that I've been really looking forward to reading this ever since I got it. And, um, yeah, I was just really excited to hop in. Of course, Tsutomu Nihei, uh, being creator of Blame, um, a highly regarded series that I also really want to get into, but kind of got a lot on my plate right now to read. Um, so it's not really a priority, but I will be reading it at some point. Um, but yeah, Obara here is a really interesting read i'll say that it's very confusing and complex um and it's one of those series that i just had to read a whole article on after this because i was like i don't know what just happened um but you know regardless it was a very cool uh series to just look at and experience and so yeah i'm going to be telling you guys all about it my experience with it and my overall thoughts so let's get into it Judah finds out that she's not his sister and falls in love with Agni and then Agni kind of falls in love with her even though the whole point why he liked her and why is she, he's with her is because she, she looks like his sister and so there's a whole scene they pr proceed to bang again he thinks that she's his sister um a little bit of a sweet home alabama moment if you ask me indirectly you know of course it isn't his sister but he likes her because she looks like his sister and bangs her i like what like that is ridiculous 
And I figured, you know, for a 200 subscriber special, that would be kind of a good idea for me to do. Talk about where, um, like how I got into all this that you see behind me, my few hundred volumes of manga I have, uh, where all of this got started. And I know I talked about little, like talked about little bits and pieces of my own story here and there um, over the last, how long has it been? two years that I've been making manga content, um, or manga and anime content. I've talked about it a little bit, but I figured, you know, today I'm just going to come at you guys and um, tell you guys my story, uh, where I started, how I started, and how I came to be where I'm at now. So strap in and let's get into it. Um, yeah, what can I say? This completes my set of not only the One Piece box sets, but also my One Piece singles. Yeah, One Piece, you guys know I love it. <clears throat> this is the last piece I needed for my singles set. And also, this will also complete my singles set for all of the big three. So, I officially have all of the big three in the singles, which is one of my biggest goals completed. Uh, for manga collecting is kind of a dream of mine to complete that goal um, And here we go Yo guys, welcome back to another video today. We're going to be oh, What the yo guys welcome back to another video as you can see in the beginning little skit here I have my wonderful wonderful girlfriend Kayla here with me today uh, She is visiting me for the holiday and today is our last day together So we figured we would talk about a little series known as Chainsaw Man that I'm sure not a lot of you have heard of or have heard me talk about on the channel before. I've uh, never talked about it before um, and to many people's surprise it's one of my favorite series. So yeah we're gonna be talking about it today because she here has just finished the series uh, during her stay. Her and I have read the last three volumes of it um, just the other day sort of binged through it uh, just the ending so yeah she's going to be giving us her thoughts and we're just going to be discussing the series as a whole so i hope you guys enjoy and let's let's get right into it i think the fact that a colorless world with like colors being somewhat like like so rare i i just think it's really cool and the way that they like show how okay it's mostly black and white but every little bit or every so often there's like little bits of color and i just find that to be like really unique about this this thing right but usually it's not I'm... i guess I, I she's she's having a little trouble she's <laughs> talking here she's not very uh familiar talking with on camera with, with talking with on camera <laughs> apparently i'm not either she's not very uh, adept at it but i think what she's trying to say is um and i also agree one of the cool things about this manga is i just love that kind of thing uh norse mythology and you guys will see that i do like norse mythology here in just a second when i show off what i got um but yeah the vinland saga is just really dope um and i had to get her into it because as soon as I started learning that she likes manga and that I'm able to get her to read things. Say that like I don't read at all. Well, you read. What is just your general thoughts of the series? It was very chaotic. Yeah. A lot happened throughout the entire thing. Each volume was also quite goofy. Yes, very goofy. Some things could have been not seen right well we're not gonna go into detail about that i'm we sure don't we have to we can if you want to i'm not gonna talk about what was it volume six or seven volume seven <laughs> if you know you know yeah we're not we're not <coughs> talking about that <coughs> quan chi <laughs> no what no what? anyway and that is going to be about it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it. 
Again, we're trying to get some new, bigger milestones this coming year. Um, so let's make it happen starting right now. Um, yeah, let's do it. I hope you guys did really, really enjoy. And thank you. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.